Hey everybody, uh, we are going to be going through the song One Thing Remains by Duffel Music uh, out of Redding, California. And um, what we're going to do is uh, I'm going to play through just the parts very simply. And then after that, um, I'm going to have Adam Richards, our worship pastor here at the Grand Bay Campus, I'm going to have him uh, come join me and we're just going to do a short version of... Um, of the song with just him on acoustic and me playing the lead part. So uh, basically, um, oh, sad face because I'm having a capo on my guitar and I'm a lead guitar player. So this is like the ultimate sin in lead guitar playing. But I have to do it for this song. So here's what we're going to do. Uh, the song is in the key of A and we are going to do a uh, play it in G formation though. So uh, we're going to start with a C chord. Uh, basically, the only notes you're going to play is you're going to hit, I just hold it like that because it's what's comfortable, but you're, you're not even going to play these bottom two notes. But you're going to do a C chord, you're going to hold a your um, your middle finger on the fifth fret on the A string, and then you're going to hit the two strings open underneath it. Slowed down. Okay. Um, that's pretty much the part. And it just does it over and over and over. So uh, here I'm going to put the effects on it. Um, a little bit of delay, a little bit of reverb, and just to kind of fatten it up. And then here we go. Uh. and just have the delay going and it may have this sound instead. Okay, so uh, regardless, that's still the same notes that you're going to play. You're going to end on that C note and then it goes into the higher than the mountains that I face, um, that whole thing. Uh, and then um, basically there's no lead during that part. Just kind of let that sit. Um, then it goes into this one thing remains. When you start saying that, you're going to go this one thing remains. And then it goes to your love never fails. And during that part, uh, we're just going to do an open, um, an open uh, D string and an open G string. And so it's just going to go your love never fails on that part. So here we go. So... until uh, the end of that section and then it goes back into the okay so we're gonna do that for each time it hits that part so when it hits the verse when it hits the the chorus there um, that's what you'll play during those parts um, the uh, the only other real part is um, like when it gets bigger into the in death in life um, you know that part uh, basically what I do is come out here to the uh, where you would play a triad for the A for the key of A, so basically meaning you're going to start with your middle finger on the A note on the B string. So there. So we're going to just do a um, a little walk up here. So it's going like this. big part there um, again I'm not really using all the effects that I would normally use but that's that's the basic notes that you're gonna play uh, just so you know right there I would use delay I would use a, a very light reverb um, and then uh, probably my second boost I have the way I have my pedal board set up is I have an overdrive and then I have 
a um, a boost, just a, a real soft boost, and then a uh, kind of a lead boost. I'd, so right there, I'd use that soft boost. And then um, the last thing is going to be the solo, and you're going to start on the fifth fret on the um, on the B string, and then you're going to go up to the seventh fret on the B string, and then we're going to go um, here. I'll just play it for you, and then and then you can I'll slow it down for you. So here we go. of that. Okay, um, so pr pretty simple. Basically, you're just going to start on, on that fifth fret on the B string. Uh, here we go. Go up a whole step. Go up to the G string and then go to the sixth fret. Go up to the D string to the seventh fret, and then go down a half step on the D string. So again, uh, live with everything on, it should sound like this. up there and then that's those are pretty much the basic parts um, again if you've watched some of our other videos you've heard me say it before but uh, these may not be uh, they're not the exact parts that they play on um, the original version and we do that purposefully we do that uh, just to have that stonewater sound we use other people's songs uh, but to kind of keep it the stonewater sound where it's just consistent uh, across the board um, with how we play our songs. So uh, Adam is about to join me and then um, you'll be able to hear it just kind of acoustic version with the lead guitar parts in that. So here we go. All right, here's the famous Adam Richards. I'm not famous. But he is wearing Batman earrings. So Man. that makes him famous in my heart. Yep. All right, here Absolutely. we go. We're going to play it. So we're going to start from the very beginning. Um, here we go. You can singing? It. You're singing. Oh, okay, here we go. Here we go. All right, one, two, three, four. Line. 
much how that goes. As you can tell, um, uh, uh, that reverb was probably a little too heavy because it carried over the note into the last note that wasn't the right note. So uh, just kind of got to adjust from there and just kind of figure out uh, as we go um, what the best uh, setting is for your song. Um, not too much reverb, not too much delay, but we also want enough to be able to uh, make it sound good, thick and fat. And so that's, that's the basic version of that song. That, um, the, and again, the version we do here at Stonewater Church, um, if you want to comment about how that's not the right guitar parts and we're not playing right, feel free to go ahead and do that. We know that. So um, anyway, uh, thank you guys. And if you have any questions, email eric at stonewaterchurch.com, adam at stonewaterchurch.com, or leave a comment at the bottom of the YouTube. I'll actually. That's weird.